Hey, what is up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. I am your host, D.E. Georgia Productions, and welcome to my overall season one of Castlevania review. Now, I have to say, this season was really, really good. It's a fresh start to all of the seasons leading up to the fourth one. And a lot of y'all wanted me to check out the season four of Castlevania trailer, but I can't do that unless I've seen all of the season's episodes. So I think season one of Castlevania is pretty much setting up for the future events of what's to come throughout the show. And there are some good moments, there are some bad moments, good episodes and bad episodes. But overall, I still enjoy the season. And according to Angry Video Game Nerd, it's pretty much just like um, Castlevania, Cynthia of the Night, the game that came out, I think, back in 97 on the PlayStation. So it kind of makes sense of the way that the characters were designed, it kind of reminiscing from Cynthia of the Night. And from then on, I did get to know some characters like uh, Trevor Belmore, who is this depressed guy who, who was willing to save people's lives, but his heart is not in the right moment. And it's all because his own family chose to fight off against Dracula's army on their own terms. So he was having mixed issues with it, whether he should do it or not. But he chose to go the high road and do it by himself and did it his own way. So apparently the family traits passed on to the child. If your family chooses to fight against the Dracula army, then the child's going to end up doing the exact same thing but only to be the douchebags of them all. And it's been shown in the second episode. Well, the first episode or the second episode, we've got to meet him. Him and one of the speakers. The lady with the magical powers that control fire and ice. And she's an interesting character as well. That and the old guy who was like the leader of the speakers. And it's been revealed since the first episode, Dracula, of why he's been, why he's the way he is, is because he's was probably grieving over his wife, but he is seeking revenge and he wants to do it his way by going around killing all of the people left and right with his demon Dracula bats flying all over the, flying over the area, pulls up blood, and just killing people all over. And the series doesn't get good until the third and the finale of the fourth episode where chaos has happened, the fight scenes were just fantastic, and we've got to know the, the blonde dude, I, I, you know what, for the life of me, I cannot oh, say his name right, but I'm going to have to do some character studies so I would know who was in the episode and how they were introduced. So overall, season one of Castlevania on Netflix is really good. It's a good start, and hopefully season two can somehow wow me. And I believe that for a fact. There are a lot of good moments from this anime. The, the, the writing in this show was really spectacular, and the acting was really good, and the action was just absolutely spot on. And it kind of reminded me of Cynthia of the Night because I think that's what this anime is based off. Not the classic NDS Castlevania that we all know and remember. But this is pretty much based off of Cynthia of the Night. So I'm looking forward to season two of Castlevania when I do my episode reviews of it. And make sure you guys stay tuned. And uh, yeah, I'm giving Castlevania season one four out of five. I'm looking forward to season two when I start tomorrow. And uh, yeah, see you then.